Yeah, she's with you at the moment. But I'll stand here all day then. Yeah. I, I will literally stand here all day. I would like to register my baby who's just been born. You're refusing me entry because I have a disability. Not, not because we use disability, because you haven't got anything to prove that. that I don't true. need to prove to you that I have a disability. I, I shouldn't even have to tell you. Can I finish, please? Yes. I shouldn't even have to tell you that I have a disability. Should I? And then furthermore, you whack the door off of my arm and you assault me. Ariana, you did assault me, you whack the door. It's on camera. There's a camera just there. So yeah, so since you yeah. went away, you asked... Pardon? What's my problem? You got, you got I don't need a mask, I'm exempt. You got, you got, uh, I don't need to prove that. Let the lady talk, what's wrong with you? No, so a woman came without a mask on and told me that I'm not allowed in without a mask. Hold on a minute, you're not wearing a mask yourself. Then she turned around and said, but I sit behind the screen. So I'm going to be behind the screen. So what's, what's wrong with that? So then we're all protected. I don't wear a mask. I'm exempt. I've got a card. And like I said to your colleague, it got stolen out of a bag. I shouldn't have to tell you all of this. Yeah, I've paid for a service. You're refusing me entry to, to, to do this service. You know it's actually against the law not to register your baby. You know that, don't you? I'm not rebooking, I've paid for it. I'd like to speak to the manager. He's saying he's going to get the manager, and now he's saying the manager's, the manager's not available. I'll wait here all day, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as soon as she comes down and tell us. wait instead then, I've got to speak to my husband before I, 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 I tell you anything, yeah? That's fine. So you can just, yeah, just, just wait down until we find out what to do. Okay, thank you very much. That's for the whole world. That's for the whole world. No, it's for everybody. That is mine, but it's for everybody. You don't need to see proof. You don't need to see proof. Under what law? Under what law do you need to see proof? If you've got to see proof, I'm going to ask your boss. No, under what law do you need to see proof? Usually, I see a card here. Yeah? No, no. Card okay, okay. Usually, You're than being told it. Okay, I don't think you understand what I'm asking you, yeah? I'm asking you under what law. I've just given you a law, yeah? And, and you do need to know about the law. You, you're, 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 a CI, you're, 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 you're a security guard. That's not your job. Your job is to make sure this is secure. You're the manager, okay. What's your name, sorry? My name's Dexter. Dexter, yeah? Thank you very much. Um, we do need to have you wearing a mask unless you have proof okay. that you are exempt. Under what law? You can't go into any shops or anywhere without a mask. That's not true. Under what law? It's under the COVID law. It's the government's guidelines. The COVID is not a law. It's COVID is not a law. It's the government's guidelines to stay. Okay, so we're, we're, talking, we're talking guidelines, yeah? So let's talk guidelines. The lady that's just come to see me, what was her name? Celia. Celia. Yeah. Celia wasn't wearing a mask. But she would have stayed two meters away. No, she didn't actually. We're, we're less than two meters now. We're about a meter away. Yeah? She, she was stood here. And then when I come to the door and your rude guy here pulled the, the, the thing onto my arm and out my arm, she was stood right there. And I told her I was filming her. So she ran away. Under what law? I've just given you, I've just given when your lady you here a law of why you can't let me in, why you can let me in and, and deny. I haven't got it, no. Like I've explained to the guy here, it got proof? stolen. I don't need to give you proof. You can't ask me for proof. You do need to see proof. No, you don't. You don't under what law do you need to see proof? It's under the government's guidelines. The, there you go, we're talking guidelines. I've just given you law, written law, under the Equalities okay. Act, 2010. Yeah? You in the so you're refusing me. You're refusing me entry. Yeah, unless you, 
You know you're committing a crime by doing that, don't you? Okay, that's fair enough, but I'd rather have the safety of my staff protected. Unless you can Your show staff are walking around without a mask on. How is that protected? We are, we are protected with screens. In our offices, we have protected... But she wasn't behind the screen when she came to the door, was she? I can't speak for what she's just done. Okay, but so... But she, like you've just said, if she's behind the screen, she's protected. So I'd like to register my baby, please. But you still need to have a mask to come into the building. Who am I protecting? Unless you have uh, uh, an exemption. You're, you're, refu you're refusing me entry. You are breaking the law. That's fine. I will get. I will contact my solicitor. My, my solicitor will make a, co a formal complaint. I will make a written complaint to your manager. That's yeah, fine. and then we'll go from there. That's so just to make it clear, you're refusing me entry? I'm not refusing you entry. So can I come in then, please? You need to have a mask. If you can't I've exempt. just told you, and I've, I've told all these, I'm exempt from wearing a mask, yeah? I cannot wear a mask for medical reasons. Can I register my baby, please? Okay. If you want to just wait here, I'm going to call my head of services. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you? Your name's? Julie Bryan. Julie Bryan, yeah. And I'm the superintendent of registrar. Okay. Yeah? So I understand you've got an exemption if you've yes. got a pair, but you haven't got it with you. Yes. So unfortunately, we can't see you without that because the policy is under the COVID Act that everyone wears a face covering in a public building. That's not true. Well, that's, that is the council policy and the COVID Act. No, it's not. No, it's it not. Is so give me the section in the law then, please. No, I'm telling you that is the COVID act, and we're not seeing you. I'm no, so you're refusing me entry. I am. You're refusing me. You personally are refusing me I entry. Am. So you're refusing me a service that I need to have. Because I'm not wearing a face covering. And you I, 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 I am disabled, and I do not need to wear a face covering or a mask, and I do not need to prove to you why I need to do that. I don't even need to show you an exemption card, an email, or anything else. Well, that is our policy that you do. So but your, po your, your policy is, is overrun by law. And that law is the Equalities Act of 2010. So, where is your exemption protector then? Somebody else has took it. Somebody stole it. Right. Okay. okay. But you know from our booking policy that you can't wear a face cover. Yes. So okay. Unless you're exempt. Unless you're exempt and you yeah. can show an exemption. I do not need to prove to you that I'm exempt. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm not going to put my registrar at risk. Your registrar is not even wearing a mask. How, how, can you, how can you work that out? So you're refusing me entry of not wearing a mask, but she's not wearing a mask herself. My registrar is behind the protective screen. So will I be behind the protective screen? I'll be behind that same protective screen on the opposite side. Is that correct or not? That is correct. You're coming in this building to wait here. Okay. And that this area is a public area and you ask people to wear But she covers. walked out of here and came here without wearing a mask. Is that true or not? Is that true or not? Thank you. Okay, well I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so we'll go back to the Equalities Act of 2010. Yeah. You're still refusing me? So, okay, just to let you know that I have been recording this and I've been recording from the beginning. So the other two people that I've seen and, in two, and, and these two people as well, I will be suing you personally okay. for losses and for stress because you've refused me entry under my disability. Which you have shown me no I proof. Do, I don't have to show you proof. By law, by I've given you the law of the Equalities Act of 2010 that I do not need to prove to you that I am disabled, I am of age, or whatever else. You can go to the government website that you're bided by, with your service that you provide to the community, which I am a part of, and you're refusing me. So why don't you go back to that computer, check the computer, on the government website, come back, apologize, let me in, and we can finish, and then we can go. I've been studying for a long time now. I would like to go. My baby sat around the corner in the car with my wife. I'd like to go back to my baby. My baby was born on the 11th. I'd like to spend quality time. I'm missing it because you're refusing me entry, which is wrong. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.